Mm, something that just popped up in my uh, inbox there is uh, that Fuji, on their actual website, shop.fujifilm.co.uk, uh, are now doing their X-series cameras with signature. So in other words, you can choose your own colours and stuff on it. So uh, I'm just going to have a little play on this one just now. So let's say I go for the X20 silver uh oh you can get what's that lizard nice black lizard black lizard that, that's like a cool rock band's name i would say there croc uh oh i like a blue one what's that one Liz blue lizard okay lots of lizard going on here um and uh so if you already have a fuji camera uh, you can send it back to Fuji and ask them to reskin it, uh, and that's costing £130. The other option is if you want to buy it straight away from the actual company itself so with the skin of your choice. Go straight back to here, you go to buy a new camera, so you can select the ones that they can do. Um, I can't quite figure out what the difference is between all of these X20, the 100S, the Pro 1, the E1, the E2, um, I really need to, you, I need to spend a lot of time figuring out which one does what and what the benefits of, of each one are before I would buy one, but highly tempted. Which is a little bit upset that they're not doing the, the T1, the one that really looks like a SLR uh, camera. Let's just say if it's gonna go for, oh, that's a thousand pounds, ouch. The E2 doesn't look as cool. If they are, do you know what? this? Absolutely, I would go for if it was with the, the T1. I think it's called the T1. Is it the T1000? That's uh, the the robot murderer in Terminator 2. The T1000. Anyway, not important. Uh, but I, I think this is cool. I, I like this and I think it's interesting. Oh, green, no. Green lizard? Wouldn't have done that. Um, but, uh, but certainly... Um, I, I think personalising your, your kit that you've got is a good idea, I think it makes it more interesting. Uh, it also means it's possibly less likely to be stolen, or if it is stolen it's very easy to say it's a blue, it's a, hold on, pink lizard looking like, who's going to steal that? Nobody. Um, but uh, I, I'm also at the stage just now where I'm really thinking of photography in terms of it, it's a thing which you you do for fun, it's a thing which you do uh, for work, but also as a collector hobby. I'm gonna maybe do a couple of videos in the future about how uh, some, some, uh, some cameras are worth more than their physical worth. So in other words, it's more the fact that they are just good cameras, or good lenses, and uh, you could, almost some cameras you could buy as an investment, uh, even if it is just something you keep on your mantelpiece or something like that, there definitely are some out there, and certainly some lenses which are just uh, examples of fantastic, fantastic craftsmanship, and and just fantastic ergonomics and stuff like that. Whether it takes good photos, whether it's got good battery life, whether it's got frames per second, doesn't matter. It's just the fact that it is something of beauty uh, there. And so like what I would say at the moment is it really looks like the, the Fuji T1 uh, camera would definitely, I think, be in there at the moment. Maybe not the price that's at just now. If it drops price, maybe then. But I th also think if you drop it in price and then you get it in sexy black crinkle lizard or something like that, uh, I think there, there's an idea there. Uh, so I'm gonna maybe start thinking about photography, camera stuff, in terms of collector icons, rather than just uh, working icons as well. So, uh, yeah, check it out and uh, tell me what you think of this. Maybe some of you are thinking, oh, that's so naff. Personally, I think having 18 cameras, which are a black camera, black lens, black everything, black flash, that's dull. Uh, and I, I think throwing in a bit of your, you know, you spend so much time putting your own stamp on your images, on your editing, on your capturing. 
It'd be nice if the kit that you were capturing it all with was a, you know, a little bit personalized as well. It's a bit like in, in some people will say about cars. In the UK, very few people really modify their cars. And unless you're like a kid and you're wanting to go, I want to go faster than the other people, I want to do drag races. But in terms of actual adults uh, buying nice cars, very few people will personalize them. Uh, however, from reports I've heard from other people is that in, in America, uh, or other countries, it's very much the case of you, you buy a car, you buy the basic model, and then you personalize it uh, afterwards. And it's less about engine upgrades, but more just about like adding a cool color, or a paint job, or a wrap, or stuff like that. So I think, certainly, uh, I think cameras could definitely be uh, beyond the scope of just technical things to have, and definitely be collector items in a certain way. But that's just my idea. Tell me what you think. Cheers. Bye-bye.